going on, folks? Welcome to another episode of half Ass Gaming. My name is Waycrow, and with me today I have Iretic, and this is part two of our gun showcase from the Golden Chest. So, uh, Iretic, you please. Oh, shield mods. All right, let's go ahead and check them out. We've got. Oh wow, this is named Shield. That's it. Shield. So, and this is your frosty booster. Um, so, let's go ahead and check those out real quick. We're gonna have to jump into the menus here. On. There we go. So, um, I have the. Uh, where did the shield go? Weird. There we go. I have the frosty booster shield with the capacity of 937, a recharge rate of 139, and a re uh, recharge delay of. 236 and a boost chance, uh, booster chance of 7.8. The reason why this shield isn't as good as the shield that I currently have is because I am six levels currently over uh, Iretic. So um, that's the only that's pretty much the reason. Um, so we had uh, collected some previous weapons from uh, when we had opened a chest up previously. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into that. I have the two for revolver. It is a uh, weapon made by Jacobs. It consumes two rounds per ammo. It has a damage of 335 times two, accuracy of 86.7, fire rate of 12.0, reload speed of 1.7, and a 15 round magazine. And of course, with every Jacobs weapon, it fires as fast as pretty much you can pull the trigger. So. Hopefully you guys have a really good mouse so that you guys can uh, enjoy uh, the full, I guess, capabilities of a Jacob's weapon. So, Reddick, you're up next. Alright, so for the shield that I pulled out, it is just called Shield, as Waycro stated earlier. It's a 509 capacity, 631 recharge rate, and a 1.39 recharge delay. Kind of sexy purple, got a nice little belt clip on the back, and some weird plunger thing on the top, as you can see. As far as the way it looks, it's pretty badass, as well as being a pretty badass shield. Now, moving on to my first pistol that we had pulled out. This is the Purging TMP from Bla Vla Vladolf. Uh, damage is 246, accuracy 89.6, fire rate 9.0, reload speed 1.7, magazine size 35. Now, the thing about this, it's nice and shiny, silver, still can't figure out what this clip thing on the left side is. It's got a holographic sight, which you can't really see right now, but it's just a circle and dot, and uh, it's nice and shiny. It's got the Vladoff symbol on it. Pretty nice looking gun. I mean, it's uh, it's definitely an interesting weapon. Can't wait to try it out. Wakro? So, uh, right now I have the Doll Twin Repeater. Um, it has a damage of 192 times 2 an accuracy of 87.2 fire rate of 9.6, reload speed of 1.9, and a magazine size of 24. Of course, with every doll weapon, when you zoom in, it does go into burst uh, rounds, and uh, the only stipulation this pistol seems to have is um, it consumes two rounds per shot, so it only fires necessarily 12 rounds uh, before you have to reload. So it has a really, it looks like a reflex scope on it, uh, it has a uh, nice, decent color on it. It has a little bit of uh, some sort of lava camo, yellow, black, and orange. It has your little flashlight on your little attack light at the bottom, which sadly, UK and uh, your box hasn't uh, you know, added or implemented. So that would be really cool to you know, do something like that in the future. Hopefully they do. Uh, but yeah, this has been the... Uh, this is this... I still can't... Yeah, like uh, I Reddick said, I can't wait to try it out. Reddick. Alright, so now I'm on the Bandit Made Murderer's Magamum. It's very oddly spelled. Um, 292 damage, 87.2 accuracy, 4.0 rate, fire rate, reload speed 4.1, magazine size 59. Now this thing looks really weird. Red and yellow, very metallic, rusted looking, has two barrel ammo clips on the side definitely reminiscent of the bandit weapons that are used in the game this thing has a reflex sight as well I think either that or a hollow sight but um, it's definitely a, a bandit pistol uh, it, they always have some kind of weird quirk or gimmick 
that just makes them look odd. Um, this one kind of looks like a squirt gun. Um, on the back it's got these weird spiker things where the hammer should be. Um, not really much to say, it's a pretty interesting looking weapon, but bandits are known for high fire rate, low accuracy, and high bullet capacity per magazine, thus the two drums on the side. Um, they're great for close range engagements, I wouldn't use them too much as far as long range, which is mostly what I use, so this is definitely not my play style. Um, this one has a pretty low fire rate, but it packs a punch, so for those of you out there that are gunzerkers and looking for a bit of a challenge, get a couple of these babies and it might be pretty interesting. Waycrow? So, um, up next I have the Vengeful Anarchist, um, developed by Vladoff. It has a damage of 232, an accuracy of 87.8, .8, fire rate of 11.8, .8, uh, reload speed of 2.2, .2, and a magazine size of 46. It's silver, it has a pretty nice little Vladoff symbol on the side. It's definitely, you could tell they definitely got their um, inspiration from Russia um, when they made this. Uh, it looks kind of definitely looks like something you would see in uh, Russian weaponry, uh, especially with the mag release and the uh, trigger guard and the uh, mag, um, excuse me, the uh, the grip. Um, I don't know, it seems pretty much uh, like your standard pistol. It, it has no uh, elemental effect. It just simply, it just pretty much shoots bullets. It shoots 46 at a time. It's uh, pretty basic. Nothing really special about it. Um, it will, however, I guess if you're looking for something that that is like that, then yeah, you definitely since it's high fire rate, you're definitely gonna get you know what you want, and so um, it's gonna be interesting to try this weapon out because with most Vladoff weapons, you do have some sort of uh, stipulation that uh, is usually you know you really have to be cautious with when using. So um, yeah, this has been the uh, Vladoff Vengeful Anarchist. All right, now I'm looking at the double penetrating slapper. Its damage is 360 by 2, accuracy 81.8, .8, fire rate 1.6, reload speed 2.3, magazine size 19. Uh, this consumes two ammo per shot, which is usually the standard for Torg. Sometimes it's three or four ammo per shot. It really depends. But this is a um, unique gun because Torg usually is explosive damage, which means you're firing a very slow bullet it moves very slow but on impact it explodes some of the higher end rifles that you can get from Torg will actually ricochet before they explode um, the, the bullets uh, so something to consider you really have to anticipate the target when using this kind of weapon um, also two ammo per shot you're gonna burn through it especially if you're not a really good shot with this kind of weapon um, direct hits usually explode on impact but uh, if you're, you know, having to bounce stuff off of walls, like around a corner to kill an enemy, that's definitely something that'd be kind of cool. I've never been able to do it myself. Now, the interesting thing about these weapons is there's always that checkered look to them, like almost like the, the old World War II P-51s, you know, they, they had the, the checkers on the front and everything. Um, so that's an interesting style choice for this weapon. Um... It's got a uh, hollow sight on it. Uh, looks like it's a revolver with 19 shots, oddly enough, but you're firing two per per round. So, uh, Also, this one does have a flashlight in it. That doesn't work, but hey, you know, it's cool. Um, the other thing is it seems to have some kind of radiator on the front, I guess, to dissipate heat, but I don't really see how you would pop the, uh, the chambers out to uh, unload and reload, but hey... You know, we're not going for realism. This is just a badass weapon. It's going to be fun to fire. Waycrow? So, uh, up next, I have the uh, first grenade mod. Um, is the Longbow Incendiary... Uh, Ooh, I have a hard time saying that. Incent... Okay, Reddick? Incendiary. There we go. A singularity. Excuse me, folks. Uh, has a grenade damage of 1856, blast radius of 656, and a fuse time of 3.6. Um, it does 288 burn damage per second, that's, which is pretty awesome. Uh, creates an initial implosion that pulls enemies toward the grenade before exploding. So basically, it pulls your enemies in. It uh, 
Well, actually, the fact that it's longbow means it has pretty much an infinite range, so you could throw it anywhere you want to, and it's going to land there. Wherever you point, just click, and it'll just pretty much just appear right there. And then it'll actually uh, pull your enemies in, and then it'll blow up soon after, I think, 3.6 seconds later. So as the time that it appears, um, the singularity will actually commence within those three seconds, and then the explosion will happen soon after. So really, if you have a nice large group of enemies, especially in places like Lynchwood or the Fridge, this will be perfect for you. Um, of course, with Hyperion weapons, this one always looks, you know, a little bit high-tech. It's got these odd little uh, bumpers on the side here, which seems to be uh, where they, I mean, looking at it, where I guess they would put all the shrapnel, or who knows, their energy cores or whatever. I think it's kind of funny it being a singularity grenade, and it uh, it has a tab on the top, just like a regular grenade. You figured, you know, it'd need a little bit more technology, but I guess, you know, Hyperion, they uh, went ahead and said, forget that, we're just going to go with uh, simplicity. So, um, it's a pretty good grenade. Um, can't wait to uh, test it. It should uh, should be, it should make for an interesting fireworks display. So, um, all right, Reddick. Okay, first grenade mod I've got is the homing Tesla. 775 damage, 700 radius, and a 2.0 fuse time. Um, also does a bonus 311 electrocute damage per second. It continually damages enemies while they are within the grenade's area of effect, or influence, excuse me. Now, the interesting thing about the area of influence is you will actually see the bubble once you throw it you'll see a little bubble, well not little, but a, a, a bubble around the grenade center. It's like a little pole with three things sticking out of it and they're launching bolts and you'll see a little like weird force field around the very edges of it. Uh, that represents the area of effect for the electrocute damage per second and it's like that with anyone that's like uh, any grenade like fire, electri electricity, um, I think the corrosive is the same. Uh, looking at it, it's a Vladov, so it's it's kind of old, dirty, rusted, but it still looks pretty pristine, pretty nice. Um, standard kind of pineapple design to it, like the old frag grenades. It's got the uh, spoon on it, just like um, Waker was talking about with the um, the Hyperion. I mean, you always, I guess, have to have a spoon of some sort, and it's got like you know, blue diodes and stuff on it that make it shine blue or whatever because it's electricity, but pretty pretty standard look for a grenade in Borderlands. And the, the interesting thing about homing grenades is that they will actually track the target and try to chase it. So if you're against something with high mobility, something that can move around the map really easily, well, fuse time is 2.0 seconds, so it's going to fly around for two seconds before detonating. So, if you throw it and you're not completely accurate, this will actually help try to fix that. Um, if it doesn't have an enemy to track, it's kind of funny to watch. I'll let you guys try that out on your own. Me and Waycrow had an interesting situation with that before. Alright, Waycrow, you're up. So, um... Pretty much, these have been the weapons that we have seen um, out of the box so far. We have to, I believe we opened up the box about five times, and as you can tell, for some reason, pistols seem to be the big thing this time. Um, the uh, one thing, like we always mentioned, like we did in the last video, that is just because these weapons are in these is, is in this gold um, chest does not make them the best weapons that you will find in this game I mean I'm already six levels ahead of uh, Redick and my weapons far exceed his as far as basic I mean we can go ahead and I will show you my flash cannon or my flush cannon it does 515 damage uh, accuracy of 63 has a 8.4 fire rate a uh, reload speed of 3.8 and a magazine of 30 consumes two ammo per shot and of course with it being Jacobs once again it um, fires as fast as you can pull the trigger now this thing basically in use just fires uh, grenades but the fact that it's so powerful and I'm only six levels above you know um, Redick pretty much shows that these weapons that you get out of this chest really aren't um, how would we say um, they're really, I wouldn't say not worth it, but I mean, it, it, 
just save your keys. I mean, until you actually feel like you was you know you need to use a weapon out of this box or an item out of this chest, do not use it because it is just simply. I mean, you once you level up once, you're pretty much gonna go ahead and uh, you know just you're gonna go ahead and find something better here soon after. So it's really no point. I mean, unless you know you play in the beginning of the game and you want to get a quick head start for you know a starting character, or uh, you feel like you should give yourself an in-game reward, then uh, go ahead, feel free, you know, enjoy, have fun. That's pretty much what this game was made for. But as far as um, I see, um, seeing this as being mid-game, I don't see this as being a um, a good weapons uh, or a good idea to use. Definitely, I agree. If you're starting out, find a buddy and go to a sanctuary, pick up some badass weapons, or if you're at the end of the game, pull something out, maybe you'll find something good. But we haven't found shit compared to what we already have. You know, the only difference is it's good for achievements because of their purples. But I wouldn't really mess with it. So there's part one for you guys. Part two's coming up in a day or two. We're actually going to be using the weapons instead of sitting here talking about them. So hopefully you guys are excited for that. But for now, this is Reddick signing off. See ya!